hakuna noma Kishachwa gondo fa 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 Hey baba, kusamehe Yeah, welcome back to Gospel 10. That was Too Much Potential by Bamboo himself. He's in the house. He's our major heavyweight. A very great artist from back in the day. Na Merudi Tena. Saya ako kwa gospel, not secular. Na he's also in the house. We promised great artists. We have delivered. So Bamboo, karibu tena kwenye show. Thank you. Thank welcome you back. Me. Welcome back. Thank you. Hey, it's been a while. It's yeah. been a while. It's been a journey. It has been... Um, you know, a journey of growth. Uh, like, of course, as you know, I took a break from music just to, uh, you know, uh, focus on learning the things of God and um, focusing on growing and being uh, strong enough to stand. You know, uh, when I first got saved, uh, you know, when you first get saved, you're not supposed to have the spotlight. <laughs> you, the spotlight should come upon you when you're ready. But you see, it was on me while I was still a, a very young Christian, not understanding how how the kingdom works. So, um, yeah, but I thank God that God had mercy on me and, and brought me to where we are today. Okay, let me let me talk about that, uh, the journey. When did you start uh, the U-turn from the secular world to now becoming a Christian who follows a follower of Christ? Um, when? That's a tough question because I think that the hand of God was probably always upon me, but uh, um, I began to get an education about life, about the entertainment industry and about uh, the God of this world while I was in the US. Mm -hmm. So God began to show me those things and show me, you know, the hidden hand behind the industry. You know, industry, I love there's the hidden hand which is behind the industry which nobody sees. Mm -hmm. So, and there's a hidden hand even behind governments. There's hidden hands always. Behind. There's always a principality that controls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that very well. Yes, yes. So he began to show me those things, and I think that is when my education began because me of Korea. A Christian, a strong Christian is someone who simply understands the warfare we are in. It just, yeah, yeah, warfare. But I think we only Christo. The people that you were with before you became transformed, how did they take the journey or the change? Oh, yeah. You know, they didn't like it. Many know what to your story. You know, and I lost a lot of friends, almost all of them. But, you know, like Paul said, you know, I count everything I lost to be just dung, to be nothing, you know, that I may gain Christ. So, um, you know, even my right-hand man, my, my partner in Kesa, Abbas, went for some time without talking to me, you know, it wasn't easy. But, uh, and you know, all the, all the so-called friends, but you know, any friend that pulls you away from Jesus is no friend. That's not a friend. So, um, you know, I lost a lot of friends, you know, and, and, the, and the enemy takes everything he gave you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everyone so should know that. Yeah, if, if you are in the secular kingdom and he's given you a lot, if you turn to Christ, he's going to take, ev Satan is going to take everything he gave you, but mm -hmm. you'll have saved your soul, you know. And yeah, yeah, it's more important. And then... Uh, and God has something bigger for you anyway. So, you know, Satan takes everything just to make it seem as if following God is worthless. But that's not the truth. That's, a, that's, the, that's just the, the illusion. He wants you to believe that, you know, there's bo if you go, go after God, if you get saved, you'll be bored. The transition that happened, I know it's usually a process for people that do not know out there, they would like to know. It's a process and obviously we always have to go through refinement mm -hmm. uh, so that we can get to the place where now Christ can use us for his kingdom. Did you reach a point 
uh, during the transition because it's never easy where you said, ah, maybe I made a mistake and I could go back to the world that I was. Well, lots of times, huh? Um, there were times when, you know, even you would even feel like you're feeling like depressed. You know what I mean? Like, man, you've lost everything. You, you crazy guy. Like, like, are you crazy? Look, look what you've done. You've abandoned everything. You had it. You were right there. You were already leave alone Kenya. You were in America with the superstars. Why, what are you? Why, what are you doing? But then you realize because that's part of the training you realize that is a spirit see depression is not just your own mind those are not just your own thoughts that's a spirit which has come to depress you and it is very skillful at what it does it's a spirit so you know part of the training and something i carried with me from that training is this saying that life is spiritual I carry that and I carry it everywhere I go. And if nobody gets anything from me, just take that statement alone. Life is spiritual. It will explain a lot because nothing in this physical world just happens. You know, this, yes, there are two worlds. There's not just one. And this is something that the Lord teaches you as you grow. There's the spiritual world and then there's the physical world. And now the spirit world is the parent world and the physical world is the offspring so when that spirit of depression would come i didn't know how to deal with it at first but then he told me how now you take authority over that spirit and cast it out and then it obeyed then i was like oh kumbi these things they listen to us you know what i mean so there's some power that we've been given and if you don't know about that power that thing can kill you you see that can, that thing can drive because it won't be alone it it will come with dep- depression will will be there and then it will come it will bring it usually brings suicide that spirit which is another spirit it will bring you know sadness it will bring and those spirits they they exaggerate you know uh sadness yeah they exaggerate they make life seem like it's just totally devastating yeah like it's over but it's lies wow amazing uh let's talk about your music you've done too much potential you've also done a recent one that's a week ago uh karibu home featuring my father how's that that song what inspired it i think um that which inspired that song I, I wanted to come in a way that most people weren't expecting because I know people know the bamboo they know they they're expecting you know hit guys with punch lines hit guys with rhymes but um, I think I wanted to be more to have a more mature delivery yeah I wanted to have a, a very mature message also yeah um, you know I didn't want to come in with a, a lot of hype you know I'm, I'm, I'm over the hype in this app it is you are now you were once in the secular gospel I uh, secular industry sorry and now you're in the gospel industry would you do any collaboration with a secular artist or what is your opinion on that um no I wouldn't and I'll tell you why before when I was first getting saved I I probably would have but then as I grow I come to see it. I I guess because at this stage now I feel like I'm I'm a bit of a purist. I want it, I want the message to be pure. I don't want it to be diluted. And then I realized something also. As a minister, I'm not here to minister to people. I'm here to minister to God. Then after God is satisfied, after I have ministered unto the Lord, and not just me, any minister, after they minister unto the Lord, then after the lord is quite satisfied and pleased because he's a great king then he begins to move forth among his people and then he he ministers to them and blesses them you know so yeah through 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 the, the vessel yeah so but any time you try to um mix what you're doing for him with what you're doing for the world you you come up with gimmicks eh? to 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 increase your numbers Yeah yeah so you'll find that any gospel artist 
who is doing a collaboration with a secular artist, the, the, at the bottom of it, they're doing it for numbers. They want numbers. But we're not here to necessarily win the world. We're here to come out from the world. So, and there will be differences of opinion in this area. Depending on your level of growth in Christ, there will be differences of opinion. So, guys who have grown more and are more purist and will say, listen, if you're a minister, you cannot dilute your message to accommodate the world so that the world accepts you. No, the world is supposed to kick you out. In fact, if they accept you, you're in trouble. They're supposed to reject you the same way they rejected Christ. That's what he said. He said, he said, they have hated me. They will hate you also. You know, so don't think that at any time you're going to arrive at a place in Christ when the world accepts you and you become popular. No, no, no. Abandon popularity. You know, you, you have to make up your mind that I me, mean, I'm not here to be popular. I don't care about popularity. Right. Uh, amazing. Last question. And I want you to talk to people out there. Young people are watching this show and they're watching you. And probably some of them are telling themselves, I would want to be where you are. Well, first of all, know this, that life is spiritual and that nobody rises to any level until there is a spirit behind you raising you. Even in the secular world, you will not rise unless there is a spirit causing you to rise. So with that knowledge, you must now choose which spirit is going to raise you, either the spirit of God or the spirit of this world which is Mammon, which is the prince of the power of the air, who can give you a short-term money, power, and fame. But at the end of it, at the end of the contract, you die instantly, and then there's hell to pay for it. So um, I would advise any gospel minister, you're a minister, first of all. I, I think we need to separate that from from there should be a difference between a gospel artist you're just a gospel artist taking advantage of the of the of the fact that there's money in gospel like what uh, mr t said mr t is a friend of mine he said when jesus was being crucified on the cross there were soldiers there who divided his coat and sold it you know and they, and yeah and they benefited from the cross so there are people who benefit financially and purely they're only there to benefit financially from the cross. And those people are there. But there are people who are also there to benefit spiritually from the cross, to get everything that he died to obtain for us. So choose to be that person, to, to obtain what Jesus really came to obtain for you. And, to, and then fulfill what he has called you to do. Because at the end of your life, in heaven, there's a register of everything that you are supposed to do while you are here. So now, fast forward and go to that place and see if there's anything that you have not done that is on that register. And then come back, feel that regret early, like, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done everything. So purpose in yourself to leave no stone unturned. Do everything that is possible to do. And then I believe you'll, you'll be more than just a gospel artist. You'll be a, a minister. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Amazing having you here once again. Next Thank time, you. bring Erica, please. <laughs> <laughs>